Hey, what up guys, how's it going? Okay, I'm sitting here coming to you live from the dark night, my new black Jeep here. Uh, yeah, I've been getting a lot of messages asking how to upgrade the lighting because the halogen bulbs that come on the Jeep here are not very bright. So we're gonna put in some nice bright white LED lights that are a lot brighter, a real, real considerable amount brighter than the halogen bulbs it comes with. And um, you know what, why not? Let's go ahead and put some angel eyes on the Jeep too. That'll look dope riding at night, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, that's it, just a quick video. We're gonna upgrade the lighting and let's go ahead and do it. All right guys, light is. Okay, so I went ahead and popped one bulb out of the Jeep and this is what it looks like, your regular halogen bulb in there. And uh, yeah, here's the new and improved, much brighter LED light that you can see right there and that's the one we're gonna go ahead and put in the Jeep. I'll bring these in closer so you could get a better look. Okay, so here's the old bulb right here on the left hand side. I wanted you guys to get a good look at it and here's the new bulb right here in my right hand. So much brighter, it even has a little uh, projector, if you will, at the front of it, which will give it better focus. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and pop this in. I'll show you how to put this in and you'll be good to go. Something else that I wanted you to see is you see this tab right here, and the tab right here. There's a space for it on the Jeep, so you'll know exactly where to line it up and to put it in. So it's fairly, fairly simple to put in. So remember this tab right here when I reference it later, when I go ahead and put it inside uh, the Jeep. Okay, so I wanted you to see a difference really quick between the more warmer yellow halogen on the left there, and then there's the LED on the right. And as you can see, I'll come in closer as the camera adjusts and you see how uh, like kind of dull dim that is versus the nice, bright LED one and uh, yeah not even close okay so here we are on the passenger side now all you're gonna do is remove this rubber little gasket just push back comes right off no big deal and um, yeah it's kind of spring loaded the light here if you will the thing that holds it on so you just push in and turn and it comes right out and you could see the tab I was referring to and then you'll see the space right here where my finger is. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so here's a better look and you can see that space for, I was talking about where the tab would go. Now on this outer piece, there's three, so you'll have to line that up when you put it back on. See, there's one, there's two, and the other one over there, three. Three little tabs on this, and it'll go with the three spaces around here. And right there in the middle, that's your bulb. And just pull it out and there it is let's put the new one in okay so here's the new bulb and uh, remember the tab I was talking about before which is right here we're just gonna line it up and put it in one of the open markings right there that way it sits flush and then line the three tabs up Okay, all three tabs lined up, push in, turn to lock it in, and that's it. Voila. Put the cover back over. And now let's test it. Okay, let's swing around. And they're both working nice and bright. A lot brighter than before. Let's go ahead and turn the lights off. Alexa. Turn off garage lights. Okay. And there it is up against my car. A lot brighter than before. It's crazy. Crazy bright. All right, let's put on the angel eyes. All right, and here are the angel eyes that um, I have right here. The color I got is white. And um, don't worry, for the light bulbs and the angel eyes, I'll leave a link in the description. So. You know which ones to buy. Uh, anyways, here's what it looks like. Pretty cool, pretty cool, right? Uh, yeah, it's just the angel eye here and the wires, the positive and negative. We'll go ahead and connect that once I find where I'm gonna get power off the Jeep here. Um, yeah. Now on the back, 
there are these tabs. I don't know if you can see. See right there, like the little clear tab kind of sticking up. Now, if it were the exact size we needed, this the tabs would help and kind of make it snap in, but uh, it isn't. So I'm just gonna get um, my little Dremel, or you could even get wire cutters and just snip, snip. There's three, snip. That way it's flat because this is adhesive. Once you go ahead and peel this backing off, it'll just go ahead and stick onto the Jeep. But the only way this can stick firmly is if we go ahead and get rid of those tabs. So there's three tabs. I'll get rid of the tabs on each side. But uh, let's figure out where we're gonna get power first off the Jeep. Okay, upon further review here, I found out where I'm gonna get power. Okay, there's two plugs under the Jeep right here. So uh, yeah, right here is the horn. So anyways, you have two sets of wires here. So go to the set of wires with the pink wire. Let me try to zoom in a little closer. Okay, the wires, okay, see the one that has the pink wire? That set. Now there is a black wire on here. And believe it or not, that black wire is power. So that one right there is power. And I'm gonna tap it off, to that, off of that. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a T-tap. Tap off of there. And uh, that's how we'll get power. All right, so the T-tap's in place. And then I'll go ahead and attach my power wire to it. It's gonna be running to the switch. And that, you just push that in. Okay, it's all the way on like that. Now just to be safe when I'm done, I'm gonna elevate these wires and kind of keep them up here away from the fuel line. That's where they had the wire, so I doubt it there's an issue, but you know, better safe than sorry. I'll go ahead and attach them and keep them up here away from the uh, fuel line. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab a uh, ground since we already have power positive. Now we need black negative, the ground. And uh, right here off the light, this green one right here is uh, our negative, our ground. So I'm just gonna tap in off, to that, off of that one since it's so close. Alrighty. Put a T-tap on it and I'll plug it back in. Now I'll take my um, negative wire and just plug it in off the uh, T-tap. Okay, so that's all plugged in. Okay, so I connected the positive and negative really quick. I just wanna make sure it works before I go ahead and drill in and put in a switch for the angel eyes. Now I'm just gonna double check and make sure it works really quick. Let me turn the ignition. Okay, yeah, it's working. All right, let's find out where we're gonna put that switch. Okay, just so you can see before I wire things up, here's my uh, rocker switch. And um, there are three prongs on the back here. Now, just so you know, the brass looking one or the gold looking one, that is negative. So negative will go into there. Middle one is positive. So power coming in. And then blue is power to your device. So this will be red on the angel eyes. Okay. And there we have it. It's our negative, which we got off the headlight, which would go to the green. Then our red, is the red power wire we connected off of the black under the Jeep. And then this blue wire will go to the red on the angel eye. So negative coming in to the black, power coming in from our power source, which would be here. And then you'll go ahead and this red coming from your device or the angel eye will go to the blue. Simple, right? Right. All right, so I'm just gonna take the angel eye and put it right here. Now, normally I drill through, but if I just turn this sideways, I could just tuck the wire right under the side here. You see that? So there's no point in me drilling when I'm only gonna see maybe a, you know, three centimeters of wire. So it'll go right there. 
So what I'm gonna do is peel off the backing off of here, it's adhesive. We'll stick it on and run the wire under here like that. I'll do the same thing on the other side and then I'm gonna join these together. Have the red and black meet me over here and twist the red and black over here together. Then we'll be rocking and rolling. Okay, so the wire coming from the driver's side, I extended it. I'll solder those wires and, um, you know, protect them. And then I'm going to join them to the other angel eye here, which will be red to red and black to black. Got it? So those four are all connected. Then I'll take the negative that we got off the Jeep and join it so that'll be three negatives and then this red the two reds actually from the two lights the two positives we're going to go ahead and connect that to the blue wire coming off the switch simple remember the switch and then this red one is going to go to the red that we made off the jeep where it's getting power off the black so please don't be confused. So all the blacks will go together. Then the two reds off of the angel eyes will go to the blue right here. And then this red off the switch will go to the red coming from the Jeep. All right, let's put it all together. All right, so I got my uh, impact driver and my step bit. Uh, yeah, I'll put a hole right around, I don't know, Right around here, maybe, for the switch. What do you think? Ah, right there is good. Why not? All right, looks like that's it. Let's go ahead and bring our wires through. Okay, so we got all of our wires through. And like I said, the copper gold looking one, that is your negative. So all the blacks, the two off the lights, plus the negative that we got coming off of the light that was on the Jeep, which was the green, but we made it a black. So we made it a negative. All those will go right here into black. The next one is power coming in. So how we had the black wire coming off the Jeep, then we attached the red wire to make it power coming in. So that will go right here in the middle. Okay, and the last one are your angel eyes. Now, both of those reds we twisted together coming off of each angel eye, both blacks we twisted together, and those went into the, this black as well. And uh, the two reds, are coming to this right here, to this blue. And that is power to your device. Okay, so that'll snap in. And there's your rocker switch. Now let's hope it works. All right, you guys, let me just try to turn off the lights really quick. And uh, let's see if this works. Let me turn on the ignition. And now uh, let's try our rocker switch. Ooh. Marty, it works. All right, let's see what it looks like from the front. All right, you guys, there it is. Wow. Okay, let me come in closer. <laughs> this is nuts. Uh, let the camera focus for a second there. And uh, yeah, you can see the angel eyes looking dope. Um, if you have a Amazon assistant, press mute. Sorry, I didn't say it last time, but press mute right now. Alexa, turn on garage lights. Okay. Man, this is crazy. <laughs> crazy. Okay, so that's the angel eyes and the headlights. What? Yeah. 
yeah so that's it looks pretty good don't worry guys i got more content and stuff coming but uh this looks this looks dope uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just get some shots of this play some music in the background and uh that way you can see what it looks like from my other camera but yeah yeah this is dope if you want to buy any of the stuff that i use in the video links are in the description yes sir all right guys light us mm -hmm.